This is Noah from Elevated Woodworking, and today we're going to build a shaker style dresser from Cherry using Autodesk Fusion 360, Joint Cam, and a Mana Tool CNC router bits. I get started by modeling the dresser in Fusion 360, and I don't try to model every aspect of it, just enough to be able to do the cam in order to cut it on the CNC. For each drawer divider will go, and then the appropriate grooves and data, and then I'll just mirror that side to get the matching other side. Then I'll jump into Joint Cam, which is a piece of specialty cam software for generating CNC cut dovetails and just finding a pattern of dovetails that looks nice. Over on the CNC, I'll use a spoil board surfacing bit to surface the rough lumber. This works great in cases where it won't fit on your joint or a planer. Just a little bit of hot glue will hold the board down to the table and then you get a great surface finish and a perfectly flat end result. And I'll just glue up the boards that I just surfaced to get a panel that's big enough for the sides of the dresser. I'm back on the CNC now using a 3 8 inch straight bit, just cutting out the top of the dresser, which just gets a single dado and then a cut out all the way around. And now working on the sides using a dovetail bit without a bearing, I'll cut the sliding dovetails, just entering from the side, going a little bit deeper than I need to. Uh, into the carcass and then exiting. And then I'm switching back to a straight bit in order to finish cutting out the rest of the grooves that will be needed for the drawer dividers uh, and for the back, and then finally cutting out the actual shape of the side, uh, including the curve at the bottom. Now with the panels mounted vertically in the CNC, I use a straight bit to cut the pins and tails for the dovetails just eating away a little bit of material at a time, uh, since we are cutting into end grain. And then once most of the material from the tails has been removed, I'll come back with a dovetail bit uh, and clean up the sides and bottom to get it to be the, the right tail shape. And again, going slow to get a nice finish with no tear out on the edges. And then back on the CNC uh, with a straight bit just to cut out the drawer fronts. And then with the drawer divider mounted vertically in the CNC, I'm using the same dovetail bit I used to cut into the sides of the carcass uh, to cut the fit here. And just sneaking up on the perfect fit to get a nice surface finish. And then with the joinery all cut, it's time to do assembly. And with the CNC cut dovetails, uh, an 18 inch wide dovetail like this goes together no problem. Got a nice tight fit with no gaps. And then the sliding dovetails for the drawer dividers fit together perfectly too. They work great for helping to keep the carcass square. You need very little clamping. And then a little glue and I'll check the carcass for square, but because I'm using CNC cut parts and the sliding dovetails, uh, it really comes out perfectly square right off the bat. And then while the front is drying, I'll finish the rest of the drawer dividers, which just get joined together with simple loose mortise and tenon joinery. And then on to making the drawer boxes, which are just poplar sides that get joined together with CNC cut dovetails again. And then finally, I'll finish the whole dresser with a couple coats of uh, water locks, both brushed on and then hand wiped on. Thank you for watching our newest CNC video. Be sure to click that subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. You can also follow us on Instagram at Tools Today.